Hey guys, Denise Salcedo here for Red Carpet Report. Today we're at the Archer School for Girls for a taping of Fab Lab, a new show aimed at getting young girls to enter the field of science. Okay, first of all, I have to say, you look so great. Love the white coat, love it all. What, what inspired this outfit today? I felt like this white trench reminded me of a lab coat, so <laughs> since I wanted to be a scientist, I figured I'd dress like one. I love that you went with the theme of today's event, you know? And it's funny because I was looking at you, I was like, let me ask you, has anyone ever told you you look like Kim Kardashian? Um, I actually haven't gotten that in a while. I used to get that often when I had like dark long hair, but now I don't get it as much. But yeah, well, It's okay, but you look great. So let me ask you, we we're talking about science today. Um, we just saw a lot of bunch of cool experiments. Are you a science nerd or what is it? We all have a little bit of nerd inside of us. What is that one thing that makes you a nerd? I am like the biggest science nerd. Like it's funny because that's what I'm into and like that's like my hobby I guess of all my free time. But I love science. I love math. It's just like something I've always been into and always been kind of like my niche. So I yeah I definitely think I'm a science nerd. I love doing experiments. Like my dream job is to be like Bill Nye, the girl version. Like Morgan Freeman's my idol, and he hosts his own science TV show, and like that's what I want to do with my life. Like if I ever have the opportunity, to be the best thing ever. Well, I say you should definitely get started on doing a science show. You know, you can take inspiration from Fab Lab. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was so cool, like seeing them. Oh, they have their show with all people, and I'm like, oh, it's kind of like similar to what I want to do. You know, so it's cool. So seeing the show finally come about that, you know, people that, you know, can inspire young girls into the world of STEM, what does that like mean to you, you know, as a female? I think it's really, especially, like, it's really, you know, inspirational, especially to see young girls so interested in science. Like, I've always been interested, but I know that it was mostly, like, a boy thing growing up. I was always, like, that girl and, like, mathletes or, like, the science clubs with like all the boys so it's really cool to see young girls so inspired and excited about it because I know I am so that makes me really happy. <laughs> it's a stereotype we want to break. Yeah. STEM is for girls too and you know I recently read this interesting fact that women beat men in a bunch of subjects and that they have been doing it for centuries so why not STEM you know? Exactly. So, it's pretty interesting. So let me ask you, what is that one piece of technology right now in your life that you cannot live without? I mean, I'm, I think it's safe to say the main thing is an iPhone, which that's, I hate to be so cliche and like stereotypical, but I literally use my iPhone for everything from like ordering cars on Uber, like getting my food on Postmates and like tweeting and sharing my photos and like finding, talking, talking to my family over FaceTime and stuff. It's like, it's like woven into our lives. It's such a big part. Without my phone, I don't literally know what I would do. It's over there charging, and I feel like I'm missing an arm. So Exactly. Yeah. And you literally read just my mind. I was about to say, I was like, it's like having a right arm. And I love that you have it charging right now throughout the day because sometimes we forget to do that, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. But I can't blame you for wanting that iPhone to be that number one thing that you cannot live without. Have, last question. Have you ever had a crazy invention or something that you thought up in your head and like, hey, this would be really cool? Yeah, I actually have my own accessory line that's like technology hybrid with fashion and like it's all the things that I think of like, oh, this would be really useful and cool like uh, to go along with my iPhone or whatever and it's like, oh, I want to make this so then I literally go and I like make it and then like that's what my line is. So it's like I'm like, oh, I wish I had a, a charger cable on me at all times so let me make a really cool like accessory that I just wear anyways that is also a charge. So it's just like things like that that I made that I like think is useful for me and I hope other people find it useful. I feel like everyone with an iPhone will so I'm just like, yeah. That's awesome. Can you tell us where we can find this stuff? Um, my line is called Club Noir and the website and everything will be clubnoir.us so you can look out for that. It's coming soon, yeah. Alright, well thank you so much for talking to us and I can't wait to check that out. Thank you guys for watching our coverage of Fab Lab. Make sure to leave us a comment below letting us know are you team math or are you team science? Also give us a thumbs up if you like our videos and make sure to subscribe to our channels for more.